Hi guys, hope you're alright, I hope you're all good. Um, I wanted to do a video today basically to show you what it is that I've, I got from Mercy and I, I bought a lot of different stuff um, and so obviously I'm not going to show everything, I'm only going to show one thing here and this is this, this is my new stand um, that I've got. Um, I will... I'll explain, I mean, fully in a bit some of the symbols and some of the symbology that's on it. Um, but I'm not particularly um, into, let's see if we can sit down, yeah. I'm not particularly into people buying ones and buying stuffs and buying stangs. Um, I have always said if you can, try to make it yourself. Um, and I think that adds a lot of power into it if you can actually find a piece of wood that calls out to you if you carve it yourself sand it yourself and and you put a lot more energy into something if you make it yourself and i think that is true and i think that is the case however um as you guys know i already had this thing um which this is something i've created myself um here quite short um but there's it's shodded with an iron nail at the bottom. There are some carvings. Um, it has mink um, fur on the top, and has a hagstone here and fork staff here. So it's it's quite basic. It's a pretty basic stang, but it's called out to me. I believe that this is oak. I think it's oak anyway. I'm a bit naff with trees and stuff like that um, with tree law, but I do think this is oak. Um, but yeah, I, f I found that, you know, before going to Mercian, I had the feeling that I, as much as I like that stang, that stang will always be my first stang, I had this feeling that I, I, I honestly wanted a stang that was a little more fancier, um, and I know it doesn't matter what they look like, I know that, and I know it's your own, you know, it's your own energy, and it's your own thing, and that's absolutely fine. But bearing in mind, when it comes to carving and stuff like that, I'm not particularly the best. Um, I'm not particularly the best at carving wood, engraving wood, and I know it's not how it looks, it's, you know, if it works, basically, that's the most important thing, you know, um, as long as it works and it does the trick, that's all that matters. And that stang does, that stang does the job. However, I felt the need that I wanted another stang, something a little more fancier. Um, however, when I went to Mercian, I went up to the stall and I saw this and I just grabbed it and I was like, ooh, um, it had a compass in this part here. Um, and I'll show you what I've put in it instead. Um, and I saw it and I was like, I really like that, but I'm not into buying stangs. I'm not into buying my own stang and stuff like that. And, you know, that's, it's something that I didn't, I didn't want to, I didn't particularly want to buy my stang. I wanted to craft it and make it. Um, however, I came back and I saw it and I was like, no, I have to buy this. I really have to buy this. So, yeah, I, I kind of, I got a good price. Um, and, yeah, this is Hazel. The, I'll show you, I mean, quickly, where there used to be a compass, I've actually put in, if you guys can see in the light, it's like a mauve skull. Um, because I work with the dead a lot, um, for me, this represents the world tree. And so... The under, the under part, we have the underworld, and to me I see that as the ancestors. I've put an inverted um, triangle as well there to represent the lower world, the underworld, and this twist here, I'll explain what the twist is. Um, in here, it's pyrography, that I've done this, so I've, I bought the stang as it was, but added on my own stuff with the pyrography, Pyro yeah, pyrography. I have added a witch's foot in here, an upright triangle to represent the heavens, the upper world. Um, and I've painted, I don't know if you're able to see, but the spiral pattern within this stang. I painted it with red ochre um, and a various mix of other things as well. Um, I've got in here as well the six-pointed star. I think maybe because of my Jewish ancestry I connect really well to it. I don't know, but I love using the hexagram 
um, the six pointed star within witchcraft. It's just a symbol that really resonates with me. It's probably my Jewish ancestry. Um, my Jewish ancestors coming through. And here I have the Ogham for Hazel. Um, this is actually Hazel. Um, and the spiral here isn't actually a carving. A lot of people said, oh, is this, you know, is this a carving? And it's not. What this, how this happens is it's normally vines that go around the branch of the tree and they strangle the tree. And so the tree grows to the way of the vines. Um, so yeah, it's basically strangled and through that it's twisted and we have this serpentine effect which is perfect for me because I work a lot with the Saf roof which is the serpent energy of the land so I'll just show you guys it again um, I love this I don't I don't normally you know as I said I'm not really into buying my own stangs stuff like that but this piece of wood really resonates with me um, to the point where one of my friends looked at me and was like, that's you, that is your stang, you can tell that it is your stang. And it just feels so natural to have to hand. Um, it's something that I, I really do love. Um, and I'm so glad that I bought it um, because it really is mine. It did originally have a compass in this area here. But I, it was the compass was plastic, and to be honest, I wasn't really feeling having a compass within the stang. Um, although I thought it would be ideal for having a compass round marking out where north, south, north, look, north, east, south, and west was. It was plastic, and it just, it just didn't really look. It didn't feel like me. <laughs> so I took it out and I put the skull in here, um, and I feel this is a lot more me because. I work with the dead primarily. Um, so yeah, just one more time, close up view. There's the oven there. And then... But yeah, that is my stang. I'm not, as I said, I'm, I'm so... This really resonates with me, it feels like mine, it feels powerful, it feels sturdy, it feels strong, and it feels like something I could actually call um, the, the worlds with. Um, I may do a vlog just on the Stang in general and maybe explain a couple of things. If you do want to know um, how to use a Stang and, and good ways to use a Stang, have a look at one of, a really good friend of mine, perhaps one of my best friends. Um, his vlog is called Tradwitch. And he has how to use a stang, and in it he talks about moon raking, the sending of the familiar spirit, loads of different stuff. So have a look at his videos, because his videos in general are awesome. So yeah, have a look at that. It's a very good informative video, and he knows his stuff. So yeah, this is my stang. So I have two now. So I'm going to have this as, the, this will always be my first stang. Um, but this normally stands at the altar as a representation for the centre point of my indoor workings. And this is going to be my grand stang. I think this is going to be a big, you know, my ceremonial stang. Because, um, yeah, it's just, it's beautiful. I love this. <laughs> so, yeah, here is my stang. And over and out, people. Mwah.